Welcome back. Stagecraft online. Um, <clears throat> okay, so our next video this morning is going to be on stairs, making stairs, construction techniques. Uh, you're going to want to have your notes and hopefully also your books because uh, there's some helpful images uh, in the chapter about basic step unit construction. We call stairs step units a lot of times. Um, and step units come in all sizes and shapes and so forth. Um, step units, some great pictures. Um, and I'm going to kind of draw out some of the ideas uh, that you have. And I've included in your notes, your review notes, uh, this information. Uh, so hopefully this, will, this video will help make all of this information clear and understandable so that you will understand the basic math involved with building stairs. Okay, so stairs, the last part here on three-dimensional scenery, weight-bearing scenery. Um, stair construction. Stairs are made of three basic parts. The carriage, the rise, and the run, or the tread. Okay, I'm going to use black. So, we'll start with the carriage. The carriage of a step unit of stairs is the basic frame. So, when you, you want to think about the carriage as being like on a platform. If you think of a step unit as similar to construction of a platform, the carriage is the frame. It is what holds the weight of, uh, for the unit. Um, so, I've kind of drawn here what... For the most part, a stair carriage looks like, but they do come in different shapes and designs. Um, I'm going to draw a couple of them. Are these matching? One, two, three. They're not matching. Four steps. <laughs> There we go. Okay. So I've drawn a couple of carriages here. And then usually how these are put together is the tread or the run, the tread or the run, sits on here like so. Carriage, tread, or run, right? And the rise is this part here. This is the rise. So carriage, rise, and run or tread. Uh, carriage, treads, and risers. Um, this is the basic construction. Now when making a carriage, the carriage is the most important part of the structure to get right. Um, and I've included some notes here. So the standard tread length, so the tread here, this width, the standard is, and I put it in the notes, 10 to 12 inches for the tread. That means the part where your foot goes, standard size is 10 to 12 inches, which means the optimum size is 11 inches, right? Any less than that, and the stairs will feel steep, right? Any more than that, and the stairs will feel shallow, right? Like, think of the stairs at the front of MIMS Auditorium. As you're coming up, you kind of need to take two steps per rise, right? Um, that means that the tread is longer than the standard human feeling should be, right? Uh, your foot and your legs are used to walking up stairs of this standard tread size. 11 inches is the ideal, right? Rise, so the standard rise, okay? Standard rise is the next one on your notes, eight to 10 inches, okay? Which means the optimal rise is nine inches, right? The normal rise for a stair is nine inches per step. Uh, if you go less than eight inches, 
the stairs will feel shallow. If you go more than 10 inches, the stairs will feel very steep, very hard to climb, right? Um, so nine inches, standard rise, 11 inches, standard run. That's what's normal on a step unit. So if I was making a carriage, right, nine inches, and 10 inches, right, is the normal rise and run of a step unit, okay? Um, <clears throat> this means a few things too mathematically, right? If the standard rise is nine inches, if we're going with a nine inch rise and, we're and we have a three foot platform, right? If this platform, sorry, that's kind of, this marker's kind of dying on me. Switch to green. Ooh, that's dark. All right. If this is three feet tall, right? Three feet is 36 inches. How many nine inch steps would you need to make this, right? That divides evenly, nicely. You would need four steps of nine inch rises, okay? Um, and so that's a handy size, right? If, however, we're going to a two foot tall platform, 24 inches, how many rises would we need? If we want them to be even, right, it'd be better to go with an eight inch rise, right? Eight inches here instead of nine, because then it can divide evenly into three steps. I'm hoping that this makes sense. For a three foot platform, if we need a step unit to go onto a three foot platform, we could divide that evenly to four nine inch steps. That would be 36 inches. For a two foot platform, if we want the steps to all be the same height, so if we did a nine inch rise, if we tried to use a nine inch step unit, we go nine inches, 18 inches, and then the last step would only, would be two inches short, right? It'd only be six inches. Uh, so you'd have step, step, and then a short step. And that can be treacherous. People will trip over that, right? Uh, human beings are used to having the steps at the same height. Uh, and that helps, especially actors, poor, poor actors, walk up and down stairs without falling uh, because the steps aren't the same height. So you want them equal height. So on a two-foot platform, an eight-inch rise is ideal. On a three-foot platform, a nine-inch rise is ideal. And that will change depending on the height of the platform. It's best to set up your step unit, carriage, and sizes according to the height of the platform that you're building. Okay. Let's talk about carriage construction. Because there's some important details that we have to make sure we understand. Okay, so here's our carriage. Um, I'm going to skip down to, so on your notes, I'm going to skip down to where it says construction carriage. So it says carriages need to be placed every, <coughs> excuse me, carriages need <coughs> <coughs> Carriages need to be placed every two feet of stair width. What that means, real quick, is that if this step unit right, if this step unit is four feet wide, I'll put that down here. I'm up in my logo here. Uh, four feet from here to here, four feet wide. Yeah, uh, we'd have a carriage on this end, a carriage on this end, so that's two carriages, but we would need a carriage every two feet in the middle, so we would need one that goes down the middle, right? So we would need three carriages for a four-foot wide step unit. you got to have three carriages for a four-foot step wide. Uh, if it was two feet wide, obviously we only need two, right? If it's three feet wide... We need three, right, because it's more than two feet across, so you have to split the difference, so there'd be a foot 
and a half right on the other side a foot and a half on either side anyway if if this if a step unit is wider than two feet you need three carriages that's what that information is about okay bullet point number four is the one where it gets tricky says this carriage construction first step rise of the height or the height of the rise minus three quarters of an inch the rest of the steps will be the exact height of the rise let me explain this in drawing okay on our step unit if each of these steps needs to be a nine inch rise nine inch rise all the way up okay the first rise needs to be nine inches minus the thickness of the tread so the tread is a piece of wood the tread is the piece of wood that you step on that sits across here right that tread is usually three quarters of an inch thick I'll show you for example this is the normal thickness of a stair tread right three quarters of an inch so if this is my rise right and the tread sits on top of that I need to subtract the height of the tread from the first step and only the first step let me draw it out that was loud um, okay so if all these steps need to be nine inches the first rise on the carriage needs to be eight and one quarter inches Right? The rest of them can be cut to be nine inches. This might seem confusing. Why is this one shorter than the rest of them? Here's why. If this one's eight and three quarter, eight and one quarter inches, when I put that tread on, right, that will add three quarters of an inch and it will become nine inches overall. If I put a tread on here, from here to here will be nine inches. If from here to here is nine inches, then from here to here is nine inches. And same thing here, right? If from here to here is nine inches, then from here to here will be nine inches. And the same on the last one. Well, that will be nine inches, okay? I'm hoping that this makes sense but here's the rule. The first riser needs to be three quarters of an inch less than the height of the riser that the riser is supposed to be. Eight and a quarter inches, right? So if I'm making a carriage, that's an ugly carriage. I'm going to redraw. Too far away. Okay. What am I doing? Okay, here's my carriage. If these all need to be eight inch, eight inch rises, right? So eight inches, eight inches. What I need to do to cut this one is seven and a quarter inches, three quarters less than eight inches. Right? That way, when I add the tread, it will become, from the floor to there, 8 inches. When I add the tread here, right, the, from here to here will be 8 inches. And when I add the tread from here to here will be 8 inches. And the overall height will be 24 inches, right? Okay.
hopefully this is making sense and this will be on a test. So on the test, you're going to see a carriage, a step carriage unit. It's going to ask, how tall do you need to cut the first step riser if the stair height is 8 inches or 9 inches? Right? You just need to know, you need to subtract the height of the, of the tread itself, of the material of the tread itself, from the height of the first riser. Right? For the most part, that's 3 quarters of an inch. If, however... If we were making stairs where the, the tread was a 2x4, if you're stepping on a 2x4 or a 2x6, right, this is not 3 quarters of an inch. This is an inch and a half. So if we were using 2x4s here for our tread instead, rather than 3 quarters of an inch to subtract, we would have to subtract an inch and a half from 8 inches on the first one, but not on the subsequent ones. That applies to no matter how many stairs there are. If there are eight stairs going up, the first one needs to be the height of the rise minus the thickness of the tread. Okay. Um, <clears throat> diagram in your book, page uh, figure 11.17, uh, describes this in detail a little bit better. So if you want to follow along in your book, and understand um, a little bit better how step units need to be built, um, that information is in your book as well with some drawings that you can see up close. Okay. Okay, and the last thing for step unit construction is there are two kinds of stair units. This is the last bullet point on your notes for stairs. Last bullet point is that there is dependent and independent stair units. A dependent stair unit is a step unit that is has to be attached to the platform, right? So here's the platform to which it's going. It attaches to it. Dependent means that it cannot stand on its own, right? If we were to take away the platform, the step unit would just fall over. You wouldn't be able to walk on it. It's dependent. Uh, it says here, must be attached to a platform. So dependent step units need to be attached to a platform. They don't have any legs on the back. An independent step unit sometimes look like this. It'll actually have a leg on it, right? So it can stand up on its own. Or when you're looking at a dependent stair unit, it will just be a block unit like this. Just a whole kind of cube shape in itself with stairs in it and it can stand on its own. You could literally walk up these stairs even if there's no platform attached here. It's independent. Right? Dependent stair unit, dependent and independent stair units. Right? Um, and both are important. Uh, both are handy. Uh, deep independent stair units are handy because you can pick them up and move them around wherever. They're useful just on their own. They're very handy to have. However, they take up a lot of space in storage, right? A lot of space. An independent stair unit, or a dependent stair unit, right, takes up much less space. You take the legs off and these can stack up and you can store them in a relatively small space. So dependent stair units are useful because they can be stored uh, in smaller spaces. Right? Independent and dependent. And that is all for step units. Uh, hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions on it, please contact me. I know there's uh, kind of a lot of math here, uh, but there's these, this rule on carriage construction about the risers and all of that, make sure you know that, and it's stated here as plainly as I can state it, the height of the rise minus three quarters of an inch, the rest of the steps, the exact height of the rise. Okay, that's it for stairs. Next video will be non-weight-bearing three-dimensional scenery. We're talking about uh, rocks, trees, and that sort of thing. So check that out.